Back into the ground. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? I hope all you beautiful humans that were just in the last live stream come back to see my pretty face once again. We got 122 people in the motherfucking house. What up, Jay McNeil? What up, Mechanic Rob? Big Rory in the house. Disaster Grace in the building. I don't know if you guys saw this the other day, but uh, I was congratulating my bro Rory on his one-year sobriety. He's a streetball legend out here from Vancouver, where I'm from. Anybody that's into basketball needs to look up his story. He goes by Disaster. Um, and if you look at my page, you can see his Instagram and you can follow him because he's the man and he's in here with me in treatment and he's like a mentor of mine. So shout out to my dog, Big Kripal in here dropping the eggplant emojis. You already know what time it is. That was very Pony Club of you. What's going on, Lopez? Hawks fan 17. Slim Tim SDK in the cut. Silk, I see you, bro. I miss you, man. I hope you're doing well. We got 600 people in the house. You not, you guys know when I'm out here and I'm live that it's always for a reason. It always means it's music day if I'm live. Drastic, I see you, brother. Um, what's going on, Ghost? Early adopted in the motherfucking house. Yeah, I know you know who he is because I've seen you try to stun on him in that old video, Hooper Turned Sanger. That was very rude, man. I'm just playing. Um... Thank you, M Chef. So seriously though, like I gotta take a moment to say thank you to everybody that's been supporting me on my recovery here while I've been in treatment. Um, it's gonna be good for the fans too, man, because I've been just going hard in the studio. I got the studio set up here, as I said, and I've been going absolutely buck. What up, Robin? Love ya. Um, Quake, I see you, brother. My boy Quake is probably one of the most slept on rappers. Not probably, is one of the most slept on rappers in the country, so don't sleep on my boy Quake. Um, but listen, it's music day. We're here. Keep six. I see you, OG. All my OGs are in here right now. I will definitely hit you soon, Keep, and we'll, we'll keep in touch. Recovery has been great. I hit my 30 days, which is the first time in a long time I can say that. Um, I feel great. I feel really good. I'm getting exercise. Um, half the time I was too hungover to ever commit to actually exercising, and I can't wait to get physically back in, in, in uh, shape. It's something that I've been trying to do for a while but covid kind of fucked it all up i know that sounds like an excuse it really is but um just not being on tour for so long and just sitting there idle right like when you're just sitting there and you're in your own fucking head all the time like all it really does is for an addict like myself with an alcoholic mind it just makes me want to party and then i'll start partying and then when i start partying the party's over and i'm the last loser there and then i just keep going and keep going and keep going and can't stop you know what i mean so the struggle is real lesson i see you brother all the SDK brothers are in here, man. Yes, yeah, sedative native, my boy. Um, yes, I just did a joint with Benny the Butcher from Gazelle. I'm super hype about. That's not what's dropping today. I just dropped a different song. This one's really different, man. This one's. Uh, I've been making music about anxiety, depression, and alcoholism, and just being an addict for so long. Which don't get me wrong, I like to do because it's therapeutic to me. It's therapeutic for you guys when you hear it. You guys tell me all the time how much it helps you. But I figured I wanted to try some new vibes, so I did some like more happy, uplifting shit. This song that just dropped right now is called um, Woodstock '99. The reason why is when the producer, my boy C Lance, I see you, brother. Um, Sent me the beat, it was called Woodstock 99, and I'm like, oh, fuck, that's dope. I forgot all about Woodstock 99, so I went and looked at old videos. And I'm like, I'm going to base the title on that. It's uh, some uplifting, happier type shit. I sing on it quite a bit, so for you motherfuckers that hate on the Merc singing, 